How appropriate. Maybe, I mean, maybe he knows something about Piotr, right so let's ask him. You've known Piotr for a long time, I take it. Longer than I like to dwell on. I knew him back when he was knee-high to a, a, a knee, I guess. Let's see. What happened when he left Transylvania? What happened with the woman? I hate to say, because I know you're trying to help him, but uh, we have a sort of rule around here that uh, you don't pry. You figure when someone wants to tell you, He'll tell you. I'm not asking yeah, you. Yeah, but to he's break not going to tell us. And it's not like I'm invisible either. <laughs> or maybe I am. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. See? I forgot everything I ever learned about being a magician or a ninja. Sorry, Jake, but it doesn't matter. He'll tell you what he wants to tell you when he's ready. Till then, it won't matter. Can't help a guy who doesn't want to be helped. You've always accepted this as a truth, but you also think back to John Tommy Jansen. By the time you know he needed help, he was too unconscious to ask for help. Fortunately, he got the help without having to In ask In his frame for of it. mind, I'm worried it's going to be too late before he asks for help. You're keeping an eye on him. That's all you need to do. That's not helping, though. Uh, I'm going to keep right bugging here. him. Uh, Piotr, how long has Kazma's been here? You guys have theme nights. I don't know what kind of theme it would be. But you guys have theme ask. nights? Sure we do. Tonight's curse night. Oh, of so course. Discovered. And whoever figures out the riddles on the blackboard gets cursed extra loudly by everybody else in the bar. Oh, yeah. I know how that goes. We haven't started the riddles yet, though. And then on Mondays, there's the wet t-shirt contest night. <laughs> Some of these guys must look pretty ghastly in wet t-shirts. Well, for dog's sake, we don't wear the t-shirts. Everybody brings in their favorite t-shirt, we dunk them <laughs> in the sink, lay them out on the bar, and whichever one looks the best when it's wet, wins. <laughs> Is there some other way to do it? Nah. Nah. I want to participate in that. I think my t-shirts would look very good wet. Within reason. Let's see. Here's more of these critters. Liz and Richard. They have names. Uh, Vampirus, Vampire, Phil... Boris, uh, who's this guy? This guy looks frightening. No. Um, oops. This guy is a griffin. The griffin has been pigeonholed by that sloop jawed beast. Where? This guy? Beast. You start to say something to the beast, but Doc's words ring in your memory. Never interrupt someone whose mouth is bigger than your head. Oh, look at these little cute mutant baby children. Let's take them. You don't need any more mutants. You and Barbara had an AFS student from California staying with you one year. Although when you think about it, since no two of us are exactly alike, we're all mutants. You're a mutant, he's a mutant, she's a mutant. We're all mutants. Wouldn't you like to be a mutant too? Maybe we can talk to them. The little munchkin loved children. Startled by your bizarrely human appearance, tremble at the sound of your voice. The witch tries to soothe them with gentle words and ask you not to stress them out. Do not stress out the mutants. Let's talk to... Where's the... Oh, the witch is right there. I didn't even see her. I'm telling you guys, this screen is really, really dark. Let's talk to the witch. You compliment the witch on her good-looking brood. She explains that they're adopted. Apparently, Yoda swept through Munchkinland one week and made the mistake of letting him crash with the Lullaby League. Nine months later, poof. So she, wait, are they saying she slept with Yoda? What a bizarre coupling. Here's the Invisible Man. Uh, here's a werewolf. Grim Repo Man. <laughs> a big mouse. He looks cool. Let's talk to him. It would be rude to interrupt his tale. Oh. And it doesn't seem like anyone's listening anyway. Uh, let's see. There's a ladder. I wonder if we can... Oh, and a hatch. I wonder if we can go upstairs. You climb the ladder and attempt to exit the roof, but from the sound of things, some large creatures are parting up there and somebody's sitting on the hatch. That's fine. All the action's all in here anyway. Okay. Let's see. These guys are interesting. They're drinking schnapps. Fugatu? Fugato? Uh, let's talk to them. Well, where are the riddles? He said there were going to be riddles. 
But I don't see a riddle board anywhere. Maybe I just have to start talking to people. You try to engage the Fugatu in conversation, but he shoes you away. You're obviously disturbing his train of thought, although tricycle of thought is probably more accurate. Let's see. Mako root. Oh, he's drinking... He's drinking Mako root. Oh, we can take it! I don't think I want to take it while he's drinking it. You can't take the root. It's in the bottle, which is on, which is in the Fugato's gigantic claw. Oh, please talk to me. Oh. Oh, it's another tour. Hey, bud. How's it hanging? I guess that's translation. Me, that's Fugato. Jay, you know kill, I. Okay? <laughs> Sure, man, no problem. Chill. I don't know, he's a surfer. I made him a surfer. Uh, I guess we can only talk to this one. Okay. Talk to me. Uh, let's see. Let's ask about Piotr. You see man call himself Piotr? Isn't talking to them like that a little degrading? Sitting at the bar, cheer him up, okay, will ya? He's bringing us down. Yeah. Alright, fine. But where are the riddles? I want to play the riddle game. I'll just, uh, I'll keep talking to Casimir. Right here. Let's see. How long has Casimir's been here? Next year will be 125 years in the same location. And most of the regulars are the same ones we started with. You must have met some very famous people. For a time, about 40, 50 years ago, when Hollywood discovered us, yes. We had a lot of actors coming in, researching their roles. Used to have their pictures covering the walls. Neat. But that's not what I wanted to hear. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to Liz. You attempt to snake your way into conversation, but these lizards are clearly enraptured with each other. The lizard says, Venomous in love as I am now, I can't be bothered. Oh. Furred? Hello, Furred. Oh, he's cute. He's a two-toed sloth thing. You try to chat with Furred, but you don't like the way he keeps licking your face and sharpening his talons against themselves. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's talk to, um... Ah... Uh, Let's talk to these card-playing people. Oh, we can play with them. We can play cards. Hey, want to deal me in? The Grim Repo Man smiles icily at you and asks how many souls you've got left. When you tell him you only have one, he chuckles and says the house minimum is a hundred. Rats. That's kind of steep. Talk to him. You begin to converse with the Grim Repo Man. He stops fiddling with his cards, looks up at you, and smiles. Although his smile is genuine, the overall, overall effect chills you down to the marrow. You've got a ways before you can always look past the surface. Um, talk to the werewolf. You're too nervous to talk to the werewolf. You're afraid that he'll put he'll put your foot in his mouth. Uh, for some reason, you just can't see yourself trying to talk to an invisible man. Well, that's kind of discriminatory. Let's talk to the demoness. Uh, she just keeps hitting you up for visine. Mm, there's got to be someone else I can talk to. I already talked to these guys. Uh, I'll talk to Richard. <laughs> oh, I already talked to Richard. Boop. Let's see. Let's talk to this one. Is that the same one? Talk to me. Uh. This Piotr, okay. this man, good, good friend. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anybody's said about me in a long time. <laughs> this man, good, good friend. <laughs> Boy, I can't tell if he's plastered or sincere or just being snarky. My guess is that he's just completely baked. Yeah, very good. Jake friend Piotr. Good friend Piotr. Good friend Jake whatever. Ah, there must be something I can do. Save my game while I'm looking around here. Um, save as, uh, where are to riddles? Whoops, okay. Talk to these guys. They're playing cards. Let me see. 
read the cards. Judging by the Repo Man's hand, he's either going to lose the game unless the next card is a 12 of cups, or he's going to meet a short, cute stranger who's going to take him on a long trip. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to take the candle. Last time I took a candle in any game, I got killed. Let's extinguish it. No, 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 no. Put out the light and then put out the light. You're doing it backwards. Put out the light and then put out the light. Doing, what? Oh, this game. Uh, werewolf doesn't... We're too afraid to talk to the werewolf. Wander, I don't think. Let's keep talking to this guy. Me friend. Jake, you friend. You Jake friend. Okay? Ugh. Sure, man. Whatever. I don't want to keep bugging him. Uh, you <laughs> not hurt me, Jake. Am I, like, making some threatening moves towards you that I'm not even aware of? Good. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I think he's constipated. Fine. Be that way. Fine. Be that way. Uh <laughs> we can ask him to throw Piotr out. Man? You throw man out of bar for Jake? Yeah, right. Cause you say so? I'm so sure. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Um I know there are riddles somewhere. But let's go ahead and, um... Hmm. Let's look around again. I guess I could focus on fixing this... This jukebox. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, look around. There's a fireplace. Somebody's sitting on the hatch. Can't do that. Uh, the jukebox stand, I can put it back. I'm just scouring now. Um, it's a dumb waiter. Can we get in the dumb waiter? We can load the dumb waiter. We can look at the dumb waiter. A dumb waiter, just like Callahan's dumb waiter, is built in the wall. Great. Uh, we can't get in it. Darn. Let's load it. Let's load the dumb waiter. Um, why would we want to do this? Uh, can load it with money. That's a bad idea. I don't want anyone stealing my money. Let's... I don't know. Uh, this doesn't... Oh, whoops. What the? You put the banny, banny in the dumbwaiter, close the door, and push the button. The dumbwaiter rises up and up and up into the storm clouds far ahead. Dumbwaiter descends back to your level. You open it up, take out the banny, and wipe the char off of it? Oh. Good as new. So lightning hit it. Oh, okay. So let's load... Uh, Let's put the jukebox in there. You place the jukebox into the dumb waiter and send it up. Up and up it goes to the churning storm clouds overhead. Oh dear. Lovely Frankenstein reference. It's alive! It's alive! Oh. Alive! Good lord! Spuff on! You haul it out of the dumb waiter and dust off some of the char. Sure enough, it seems to be working. Yay, we fixed it! Inwardly, you feel some guilt. After all, maybe a man shouldn't be playing repairman with the primal forces of nature, fixing things he doesn't understand, and, is, and uh, dying to say which appliances live and which ones die. But what the hell, it's just a duke duke <sighs> I always pick the days when I can't talk. Regardless, we fixed the jukebox, it's alive, we went all Frankenstein on it. Let's, um... I, I don't think we can play it. Let's put it back on the stand, and then we'll play B12 to depress uh, Pyotr further, because we're good friends like that.